Um, one thing I should, one suggestion I have just in, just in general as far as your finger picking goes, um, it's, it's fairly unorthodox the way your, your hand is positioned and stuff like this. Now I don't oh. know that we need to change it, but I want to at least kind of expose you to, to what I would tell almost anybody about this in terms of hand position and, and things like that. Because this seems to be working for you okay, it actually seems to be working fine. Um, I, I, as I mentioned yesterday, I'd really recommend getting off of grab of hanging on to the first string and just having everything hang hang free, even though that that might feel like like you know you're playing without a net for a while or something. If if I focus and try more, I'm sure it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. Because occasionally I do a couple songs where oh, I have the pick. Okay, and, and then I, you got to use more fingers, and then they have to be ready to play, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I I think if I focus on it. I can well, here's here's um, the long story, or not the long story, the main story on this, and that is um, the way you're, you're you have your hand kind of coming in fairly straight like this, yeah. and what that does is it, it, it means your index finger, particularly when it plays a string, is out in front of your thumb instead of inside your thumb, yeah. like this. And so this is what I would, the way I, I usually tell people to start, to, to start working on finger picking, in particular, and, and what's, what's happening by this is you're not getting as, as much tone out of the string. Now, you're not using your nails, so, so you're not hearing that scratchy sound that you're hearing when I do that. But see, if, if my finger strikes the string at this kind of angle, we get a lot of pick noise that I don't get when I'm this way because I'm, I'm going perpendicular to the string, yeah. right? So, um, so since you're not using nails, that's not a big disadvantage, okay? It, but you, the, the way you're kind of grabbing the string is you're, you're taking a big swing at it, kind of from, from like a long ways away. You're not really getting underneath it and, and hitting it and, and, and hitting it hard, like with any kind of volume or something. Okay. And if you wanted to get, get louder down there, um, so there's, there's like three or four things that, would, that you'd benefit from by working on turning your hand. And at, like in, the, in terms of full disclosure here, I played for about eight or nine years like that. Before I, I before I, no, like you're doing, like, like that. yeah, not okay. quite that much, but but with yeah. my hand at something like this, basically my first finger outside my thumb, mm -hmm. and it was and and it, I finally came into a song that made me change, and it was the last steam engine train, oh. and it was it was because what I wanted to do, and this is not even what Leo does in there. Oh yes, it is. Um, he ends up using his index finger and his thumb consecutively on the same string, really fast. Yeah, and with this hand position, that's very difficult. To be hitting a note with your thumb, you know, to be doing something like this. Uh, I've had trouble with uh, windy and warm in one move where it might do something like that. And There's a time when you got to hit this, you hit it with your thumb and then you hit it right away yeah. afterwards with your index finger on this. Yeah. When your thumb has to hit the third string, your finger has to hit it right behind it. Yeah. And so that would be easier if you could get your wrist bent like this. Okay. Now, again, this might feel like a major overhaul to well, you, but yeah. it's but uh, you know it's it's worth like considering and messing around with and seeing what happens and if seeing if you like the tone of it better and what you could practice. Another time that's really important to be able to play your, your thumb and first finger together is that there are a lot of songs where, a lot of um, bluegrassy type things can be played with your thumb and finger just as if they were a pick. Mm -hmm. 